Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Ben Carver. I'm going to be the MC for, for this track. And um, with us today, we have Hector Arias, who is head of open banking from BBVA. Welcome, Hector. Hi. Hello. How are you, Ben? Yeah, very well. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, too. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. So um, I understand you have a few slides to present. So I will hand that over to you. Perfect, and thanks again, and hi, everyone. Um, um, today I'm, walk, I'm going to talk about the evolution of APIs that we uh, have uh, had at PBBA, and uh, this is the second year we are here in this in this event, and the first year we talk about the, I talk about the, the journey we have been passing through since, the, since 2014, that is the, the year what we started with the, the open banking business and, and, and technology, of course. So today I'm going to talk about not the journey in general, not the platform itself or the partnerships we are uh, getting and the experience with those, but I'm happy to answer any question about that anyway. We are going, to, I'm going to talk about the evolution of the, the products, the APIs. And, and so, um, when we started the journey back in 2014, we had a perspective of uh, how we should build the APIs and, and ship them and launch them to the market. And so we thought that it's something like a library. So we thought that APIs would be something that, okay, we, let's build APIs and, uh, and just prepare the products to be for being a like product of the self API, something that the the customers the partners could, could be able to just pick some of them the ones they want and and use them and like something similar to plug and play a product with the right uh, technical documentation and something pretty easy uh, and we thought that because we were seeing what other industries were doing and the, some big tech companies were uh, launching apis and we try to do the same. And uh, we also thought that because, of course, we we are a, a bank and we are regulated, of course, and and but we were we were aiming to uh, encapsulate all the regulatory control aspects uh, within the APIs or behind the APIs or within the bank. So and we even we launched some businesses and, and around the in several countries, um, actually. Uh, with this mentality and and as we build the products uh, we saw that uh, the reality was different for uh, banking and so and we learned soon that uh, that it wasn't the case uh, because the banking apis are not plug and play uh, except a few ones uh, and i'm going to talk a little bit later about them so uh, mainly, they need a guidance and operational support, like uh, businesses that have a not basic, not plain products. Uh, we need uh, uh, support for the customers and, and clients to be able to successfully integrate uh, our APIs and successfully get support from, from, from us. This is the, the, the visual part of the, the APIs that we, but, but we, in the bank, so inside the bank, we saw that um, it's not about the API layer. It's, it's, it's about end-to-end -end product. It's about um, changing some aspects and of the operate, uh, operating system of the bank. Let's take into account that uh, usually bank for most, so the core banking products are, so the banks are getting, are, are used to control the whole value chain, so the production and the distribution of the, uh, of the, um, of the products and when you are in open banking the distribution is something that you do with a partner so it's something that it changes many things it, it 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 means a lot in terms of the the how the company works and and the also the control part so uh, when we thought that the api is about okay we have a we are going to prepare let's say a account a checking accounts apis or lending APIs. So we thought, okay, let, we are going to do that and 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 sell and and support these products with with clients and and customers. But the regulatory part is so so important here because 
uh, what the regulation is 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 um, is controlling and is uh, for the sake of the customers uh, is is the end-to-end -end service, the end-to-end -end banking product or service. It's not just the API. And so, how the third party, how the client or customer, is presenting information and marketing information, the banking product or so all those aspects are very important uh, for compliance and legal and and we saw that uh, some banks in so, so there, there are situations in 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 some countries and let's say in the us for instance that a bank was uh, had a like a, a an issue with uh, regulation and, and had to stop all the operations because uh, a partner of this bank did something wrong or not completely right and the core technology of course because when you uh, when we got when we are starting to get uh, partners that brought uh, many customers and operations to us uh, the core technology of course for big banks like dba in many countries is not a big thing the, the capacity but but some pieces were not ready for uh, such a uh, big number in terms of different kind of uh, transactions and uh, and the business model of course that is uh, uh, what we thought the beginning is like okay the api is we put a price in the api and, and we try to sell this api like a standard way like a commo not commodity but something like that or like, like a, a bundle product but uh, the business model is not that way so it's not sometimes we have uh, depend even with the very same API, we have different business models and even even a, a different ways of monetizing these APIs. I'm going to talk a little bit later about that. So, um, so in terms of the um, um, the APIs and how to and if can be standardized or not. So it depends a lot of the shape of the open banking. The shape means that uh, the open banking is a, you know, is a two words that uh, mean different things uh, depending who you're talking to and depending, but, but essentially in the, from the business strategy point of view is about going to how much do you expect the third party to collaborate, to, to collaborate with, with, with you. I'm speaking of course, from the, bank side so i mean the third party is the partner of the customer or the customer but so if you go to the regulatory apis that essentially are the ones that okay so the regulation is is letting know the uh, the, the the banks the licensed the chartered companies to open up uh, some a functionalities uh, normally payments and, and and account information in different countries uh, 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 this usually is not uh, very much uh, uh, complex because it's okay. We essentially we know how the API should be, uh, uh, what which are the rules we need to follow to run the, these APIs, and the third party is going to have a charter, a license to do that, and the. And the compliance liabilities are going to the third party, so the, is, is, these are easy. But uh, in at the bank side, is is like is not a a, a business itself. It's like something that in most situations uh, is something that is mandatory, but is you cannot monetize that. Uh, it's not the case in all the countries, but for instance, in the European Union and. And the UK is the case, but in different in other countries is different. But essentially, is that the regulatory aspect? And if we move to the right in this axis, um, we enter into the partnership side that uh, is is more complex because then you have uh, like a third party channel that is helping uh, is a partner. So the two of us are helping each other. And, and from the bank point of view, he's, he's like a channel because he's helping us to distribute, sell, or, or giving better service to our customers. And it's not a one zero, it's not a regulatory or partnership. We have many situations in between because they are not, it's not common except in a very, very basic partnerships. It's not common to have the very, very, very same uh, use case, the very same um, uh, situation and it means a lot in terms of the uh, configuration of the of the 
of the back end. So the, the API is not, what I'm saying with that is that the, the API itself is something uh, not very complex from the, at least our experience, we did a lot. But is 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 what is complex is to 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 prepare and bundle correctly the end-to-end -end services. That is, from the API call and the response, what is happening behind the uh, within the bank and 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 with it rightly. And if we go to the right side of the axis, we have the weight label, the also sometimes known uh, uh, known as uh, bank as a service. That is, um, you know, it's a different business strategy. And again, it's not something. Partnership or white label is they are different. Uh, they are great. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a discrete, discrete uh, movement. It's a continuous movement between one another. For instance, we have a we have partners that ask some things to be white label and some others being BBBI label. So it's something that uh, and this uh, adds complexity uh, and also opportunity because as you enter in partnership and white label in terms of the um, uh, banking business, it, it means opportunities, or innovation, and and finding uh, spaces that are not uh, filled yet in, in embedded finance. And when I talked about the changes in the operating system in the bank, uh, there are many things and how we originate, originate and how we uh, originate opportunities, how we uh, support, but I'm going to uh, be focusing two things and how we build products and how we run these products and how we build if you think that we we when we started we essentially uh, started like three uh, three um, uh, platforms uh, having similar uh, components and trying to on top of them have similar products it, it, it was challenging but and um, but it was very you know it was something that we had a few not few in terms of the size of bva but a group of people specialized in apis and and specializing the relationship with uh, with the third parties but when we as you want to scale this uh, you need the whole group bva to be able to build apis uh, uh, in a similar way feeding a global api catalog that uh, our partnerships, uh, our partnership team and uh, sales team are able to understand what is in and, and and to open discussions with third parties to uh, to find an agreement to have a, to find a partnership. So how to change and how to make the 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 whole bank uh, in the solutions development um, aspect to be able to to build APIs and for that we we have some standard process in, in in the group that is mandatory and is how we are um, um, uh, doing that and also is is mandatory meaning that we must do that to uh, otherwise the product is not going to be approved and uh, and we have a like a central catalog so instead of having different specialized group of people in in countries uh, like centralizing apis uh, construction in the countries we have a like uh, uh, very much distributed now and with clear rules for everybody and and how the apis should be built in terms of the standards is uh, with we saw different uh, interpretation of the technical documentation the sandbox the, all these things to be a standards to have a to build uh, bba wide uh, those products and how to this the build side the api creation uh, uh, across BBVA and how we run. So as we saw that the APIs are not uh, uh, is not self service, is not uh, of the self product in banking uh, because of the things I just mentioned. And, uh, and so we saw that we need uh, times that technical account manager that that many as a service companies, many cloud based companies, uh, club cloud focus companies uh, have we uh, we decided to to create these these roles in the bank and we added functionalities to our developer center not just to register or create apps uh, and download the the credentials but more on that because it's the is the, the 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 site that is going to support the the third party and also that the we also learned that running 
a business running relationship uh, through APIs also mean that the third party is going to do many things that in the past the bank uh, the bank did the bank is still already doing different channels of course but and so from the control point of view and it has a lot of uh, a lot to do with the regulation we need to know what's happening in some aspects and a good example is the compliance part when when if you are for instance just to pick an example if you are uh, uh, distributing loans uh, in a third party channel so let's say in a in a in a marketplace or an, in an e-commerce uh, website or app if you are if VBA is doing is distributing loans there we need to know and we need to monitor how the third party is going to market is going to communicate this uh, these loans and who how is selecting the way to distribute these loans the channel is the api but the control is the uh, has to do with the end-to-end -end service and we develop these processes to monitor what's going on in the third part uh, within the third parties and of course in terms of the operating system to uh, uh, to have the synchronization among among the the teams we have in our uh, the open banking area is partnerships, uh, technical account managers, and the control functions um, for those reasons I just mentioned. And going a little bit deeper in the control, if in a fast way to, in an easy way to say that is that in the past, we were very focused in building APIs uh, and, uh, and, and, and shipping APIs to third parties. Today, we learn that the api is very relevant but the use case of the api uh, speaking from the bank perspective is uh, is what is going to be the approved in terms of the control and and the, so let me put an example and this is an example of a diagram of use case we are we are using it's a basic one when we have a b2b2c relationship so BBA with a partner with a customer. This is a again. This is a basic, um, uh, a plain uh, example. Uh, we need to know and we draw when we create APIs, who is doing what and how, because this of course is very helpful for the API design. Because if you see the left side of the diagram, you are anticipating the API, the API calls and the and the, and, the, and the responses of the APIs, of course, the de technical design. But what is more important in, in terms of control is to know who does what, because this way BBA can understand uh, what um, conditions, what controls need to put in, uh, to, to everyone. And, and this way uh, we approve use cases. And when we have use case, a use case approved, we can have many uh, uh, partners using the very same use case is like is the way so we what we are selling and what we are bundling is the use case an api is a of course a central part but not the only part i'm going to be faster because i believe i'm running out of uh, time but so in terms of technology um also uh, we thought that we had a we have uh, very uh, or quite big franchises in around the, the the world. We have banks with 25 million customers, banks with 5 million customers, banks with different sizes. But but we also had an, <clears throat> especially in a country, uh, in, uh, we have uh, third parties or partners very different uh, to one. For us, was um, was key to to we suffer to have different platforms behind. Uh, the API layer in different countries is not the reason for course, but we are deploying the same platform, uh, not just the API platform on the open banking platform, but everything in the core banking around the, all the BBA countries, different speed, different versions, but it's the same and it's quite easier to develop because follow the same rules and deploy these APIs. Now, how the hybrid cloud is helping us to to do that, how we can uh, 
have this flexibility when we can when sometimes the regulation is not uh, uh, is not allowing 100 percent many some configurations but but it's something that is uh, that we, we are going deeper and deeper and the resilience is so important in technology and and i'm going to 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 wrap up soon in the business model as we saw that the use case is the central part of the business not the api we saw that the how we relate uh, rel uh, our relationship with uh, the ecosystem and the, part the third parties is what is going to be key in the determination of the business model so we have apis the very same api that we are like, let's say in terms of the monet monetization we are paying the third party and the very same api in different use cases the third party is paying to pbba so it's like the business model is not about the api it's about the more about the use case and what we are is what we are doing and, and that's it and i and and i say that the the collaboration is not is a nice word but it's a reality in open banking it's something that we are going we we are going uh, farther in the in, in the partnerships and collaborations we are finding and and some of you may know some of the partnerships we are getting in different countries uh, last year i mentioned a few one uh, some of them and 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 since then i, I we had a few uh, more with big techs with techs with uh, different companies and that's it and um, thank you so much thank you so much Hector, thank you so much for sharing that insight. It's super interesting to hear about how you've kind of gone on this journey from 2014 and, and you know, you, you've kind of put these, uh, I guess, lessons that you've learned over that period of time into action and, and kind of successfully scaled um, how people can access your API. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I found the, the kind of strategy piece, you know, between the regulatory side of things and the white label side of things, super interesting. Um, and of course, that business strategy and how you collaborate with different entities and different regulatory environments, you know, that's that's a you know very difficult topic to navigate. I, I was wondering if you have any kind of success stories or any any kind of case studies that, that, you, that you might be able to share around where that business strategy has been implemented successfully and where you've really uh, helped your API that use yeah. cases be realized um, by your end clients? Yeah, sure. Um, so let's say we have a, a big partnership, for instance, in, in with Uber in Mexico, where APIs are central there. Uh, mm -hmm. They are uh, checking accounts and debit cards, and, and, and this is something that the, U, the Uber uh, drivers can uh, open a BBA account and having some information in the Uber user experience right. that is uh, from BBA. This is one uh, example. We also have, um, uh, but I'm going to put a very different example that we used to have because we are not having, so, um, right now, neobanks uh, using the APIs and we had pretty big neobanks uh, using the BBA bank as a service uh, APIs, a white label business model that uh, uh, they were using like KYC APIs, checking account APIs, debit card APIs, payments APIs, bill payments APIs. So, so quite a lot. Uh, uh, yeah. And it was scaling. Yeah. Super interesting. And, and what do you think is next for the kind of next frontier for you guys in scaling? Uh, you know, what, what is the kind of core focus at the moment? Um, so, yeah. So, we we uh, we have the version two of the platform uh, already, so we are right now, and we and you guys will be probably uh, the ones that follow BBA will be seeing waves of APIs uh, uh, uploading, uh, getting upload to the to the developer center to be open to let others know that we have these APIs. Uh, so fill the platform, and and so, and you can expect probably from us. To see many partnerships in the in the upcoming months, uh, with very different companies. Yep. I'll be sure to go check out the BB uh, the, your tooling and how you're kind of going about that and uh, take a look into it. But yeah, I think that's I think that's about time. And and um, thank you so much again, Hector, for for putting that presentation together and um, sharing sharing with the API Days audience. So thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you so much.